plant, hose hanger, or anything, a pot plant holder, anything like that, onto a brick wall. Got a solid brick wall here. And the way to do it, you'll notice with this hose hanger here, there's little screw slots here. And these are actually quite big, so it's quite a large screw. We I mean, need a screw with a large head anyway. Um, so this will get screwed into the wall. And it needs to be the right screw head so it can come through the big hole. And then when it slides up to the slot, it'll hold nice and tight. And how to fix this is what I'm going to show you right now. Step one, if you're going to drill into the bricks, you actually need a hammer drill. I've got a 240 volt one, they can come cordless as well. And what a hammer drill is, you'll see up the top here, there's a switch with a picture of a, a little hammer, so that when you're drilling, excuse me, when you're drilling, I've got the holes here, these are holes I prepared earlier. When you're drilling with a hammer drill, have a listen to this. hear it bang bang banging as it drills if I put it around to the other setting where it's just a normal drill that it sounds <laughs> and banging into the brick now if you don't have a hammer drill and you've got good mortar uh, the mortar is the bit between the bricks here you can actually um, drill into that mortar it's a lot softer a lot easier to get into now the fitting won't be anywhere near as strong as if you go uh, in here. So depending on how strong you want it to be, how heavy the thing that you're hanging up uh, needs to be, it's definitely gonna be stronger into the brick, but you will need a hammer drill to drill into the brick. So the next stage is to get um, a green plug, um, something like this, and they actually press into the wall. And this one's, a a big long one, longer than what I want. I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to push it in the depth that I've got, which is the depth of the screw, and then um, I'm going to chop it off and use it, if it's long enough, use it in the other hole as well. So we're just going to hammer this in. You just got to hold it and get it in nice and square. That's it, keep going it comes to a stop. Come to a stop. That's it. You hear the different noise. You simply uh, get a sharp knife and chop that off. And you do have to get it as flush to the wall as possible. Um, or pull it out a little bit and then cut it and then bang it in. But if, it's, if it sticks out, it's going to hold the fitting or whatever that you want to use um, out a little bit as well. Yes, there we go. There's one in and there's two in. I just got the bit that um, we chopped off and stuck it into there. And now you've got something which is absolutely wonderful and super strong to screw into. So I got my special screws with the big heads and um, you can actually put these in because of the slots. We can put these screws in now and we'll drill them in and then hang the hanger. See that you're now screwing something directly into the brick. It was going the right way, you need to put it back. That's it, so it's going in. Good. Push it nice and hard. Keep going. Okay, and stop. Now what's happened there, I've done this so you can see what's happened. The screw is longer than the hole I've drilled in the brick, so it's come to a complete stop. So what we need to do is either cut the screw or drill the... Uh, deeper. So what we're going to do is actually um, pull it out and cut the screw a bit shallower. So I just went and uh, cut the end off that because that's going to be well and truly enough to hold this hose hanger. By the time that gets way inside a brick that's going to be super strong so happy with that. Have a look there's a link up here I'll just put it up the top corner there for how I did that what that's all about just cutting the screw down and the other one actually had one the right size so I just this hose hanger didn't come with any screws, so it's a matter of just going through what I've got. And that one is about the right size, so that one's gonna go in as well. So we'll screw this one in. Now remember to keep your drill very square, not up like that. So you drop the drill down, there you go. And put pressure on the drill so it actually screws in. That's 
it, keep going. A little bit more. Keep, it, keep pressure on so it doesn't skip. So that's it, that's, that could even be too much. So let's try it at that and see how we go. Okay, so now it's time to fit it and you check all your measurements and all the rest of it. So it goes on over the slot like that or that, and look, drops on. Now that's just a loose fit. So what we're then gonna do is do up the screws um, so she's tight. You know what? I'm not going to do that with a drill. It'll have to be done with a hand piece, which is a screwdriver in this case. That's a, that's a great design, isn't it? Here we go. Over the top's going to work. And screw it up. Okay, until it's tight. And your hose hanger we've just got him here right beside the tap so it can just come on be all nice and neat and that's done but you can hang pot plants you can hang racks shelves anything that's the procedure for how to um, drill into brick and hold it as I said if you don't have a hammer drill you can drill into the mortar it won't be as strong but there's also amazing things this, that would have been into the mortar would have been fine to carry something like a hose hanger so there we go we're all finished now the thing to remember with these slots too, if you do happen to be not quite happy as to where it's square or if it's sitting straight, you can get a little bit of adjustment and then you get a little bit of adjustment on this. You can tip it um, and then do it up tight. And because it's gripping and touching the wall all the way around, that actually will hold quite. And that that's like, oh, hang on. That's totally not going anywhere. It's really super strong. And it's a great fitting companion to the little tap that we put in there. Um, I'll put a link up to that one up here. Um, fitting a new outside garden tap. We did that in copper. It's got copper pipe running down there. Um, so have a look at that link if you want to see how we did that. But uh, there you go. There's the companion hose. And it's all about these plants and greeneries they've got putting down here. So we can water them as we're starting off and have uh, water on this side of the house.